Hello traders and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be going through GBP USD's um, price action for the week. Um, price action for me this week was very very boring nothing really going on. Um, I didn't take any trades on GBP USD but with the weekly review is what we I do is, is I go through price just to see if there's any opportunities that could have been taken but I missed for whatever reason. So also look at a price action to see what I might See what I'll be looking for for next week. We're currently only on the daily time frame. Swing structure is bearish. Internal structure is bullish, which means we're still getting that deeper swing pullback on the daily swing range. We've mitigated this very HP daily supply. We're now pushing down. The demand level has been swept and broken here and failed, which means we, sh which means we're probably going to be heading lower now. But we still have this protected low here. Our internal structure is here, so our protected lows here. So. I still could push higher, but looking at price now, it's probably more probably it's more probable that price is going to be pushing lower. But price started on the twenty fifth, which was here, and as you can see, let's just double check. Did just do yep twenty fifth. We started on the twenty fifth Monday, and you can just see price has just been stuck in this box all week. So not very good PA on the daily. Um, still need to mitigate this daily supply, so that's probably the only place I'm going to be looking for sales out of this range. We're either going to push down, and come out, or push up, and then push down, or continue pushing up. But move down to the four-hour time frame. So again, here's our price action just here. Just absolutely nothing. Price has just been wicking up, wicking down the whole entire time. We did come into this four hour supply right here which i don't know it was at nine around 9 a.m on monday so could have been a trade here but we'll break we'll have a look on the one hour i think i was looking at a trade here but there was a little change model but there was a false entry so we, that's the reason why i didn't get into it but price started here so this is where we started here. We've just pushed up, pushed down. I think the only opportunity looking at this time frame is just here. Currently, swing structure is bullish to facilitate that daily continuation. Turn structure is bearish to facilitate that four hour swing pullback. And like I said, I'm going to be looking for a sell probably in here and nothing. No buys or anything at the moment. What we want is price either to push out this way. We want price to either push this way to give us some sort of supply to take trade from or we want price to push out of this range up to here to try and take a sell trade from up here as well because that's a hp daily supply right there but yeah that's the four hour nothing really interesting on there moving down to the one hour swing structure is currently bearish to facilitate the four hour swing pullback and we are just wicking up and down in here. Nothing interesting at all. And yesterday was a bank holiday, so there's nothing going on yesterday. Price just had a little push up out here, but we had no trades to take. So if we break down this trade here, this is actually where I was looking to trade. So we had a four hour. There's our swing breaker structure. Actually, we can probably see if there was anything in this area here to take to play the swing pullback. I think the reason why I wasn't interested in taking anything here is because the change of character is all the way up here. I mean, we did have a big bullish pressure come out of here and we probably could have took a trade there because there was no change of character. And there was no change of character and the internal structure shifted bullish here. I just didn't want to try and catch a falling knife here. Like price was pushing down and I just, if we had a change of character it would have been different, but just because change of characters were up here, wasn't really interested but actually let's just break down to see if we could we had this big bullish push here which is an indication that price is going to be heading high so we could have took a trade here we already got the one hour demand marked out so let's have a look we're going to be the same situation as eu where there was a lc LQ, liquidity engine model one but let's have a look so price is pushing down here we did make a gate here so let's see if there was any 
if this does happen in the future with no change characters to the left because it's so high, it's maybe worth trying to take a trade here, but only looking for liquidity entry model 2A because it's just a bit more conservative and you need more confirmation to get in. But let's have a look. So our change of character would have been there. And then we would look in. The, we would have been looking at oh no, the next. The next load would have been here. So that load would have been there. Change character been there, but it made a new load before it got to there. So our change of character would have been here. And then we would have been looking for this load to go, but it didn't do it. So. Yeah. Then you might be thinking, well, could we have done use this as inducement? In my plan, inducement is only if it stops before the POI. This comes into it, and I wouldn't have been looking at, for that as inducement because it's just not part of my plan. It needs to be needs to be hovering before the POI. But if you count this as inducement in the POI, that would have been a good trade to take. You had had your liquidity sweep there and then very that's a very clean trade but again I, for me inducement needs to build up before the poi but yeah you can see that would have been a nice trade to take if we start to see this more then i might incorporate it into the plan but as for now i'm just looking at liquidity inch more than 1a if it stops before the poi so that could have been a place to take a trade if you're more aggressive. But again, because no change character on the one hour, I wasn't really looking for it. But if we do get bullish pressure like that in the future, then maybe we will be looking for a trade. Was that even in our hours? Okay, so I should have done that before we took the trade, before I looked. That was actually on Friday, this area. And this happened at 7 o'clock. So that's not somewhere I would have been trading anyway. So that was, yeah, out of my training hours completely. Definitely on a Friday. But price started here anyway on Monday, so nothing wasn't looking for anything there. Price then come into this supply here, which I was definitely looking for a trade. So if you move down to the M15, so we do have this laid out here, which I didn't take this trade, but it's obviously something I was looking at. So let's just have a look. I think this now. Yeah, so this was a trade that um, you could have took. Um, it was out of my hours, pretty sure. But it hit stop loss, not stop loss. It had a full century in between it. Let's take this off so we can understand it better. So yeah, price come in, mitigated this area here. Was there an liquidity entry model 2A before it in here? which there was, we had the change character, the high that took it there. And then we would have had this candle. We'd have this candle laid out for our entry, but the candle was too big. I wouldn't have been taking that. But anyway, price moved up to the next candle. There it was there. So price moved to this. Price moved to this candle here. Zoom in a bit more so you can see it. Price moved to this candle here. Let me just point to it. This one here. The price, that would have been our entry candle. And then you see right here that there was an entry right here. So that depending on what your broker's like, that might have tagged you in and might not have, but just there, look. It's tagged you in, depending on how big your stop loss, stop loss is, is if you would have hit stop loss or not. Either way, it's still a, it's still an entry, and it was on nine forty five. So I wouldn't have, wouldn't have gotten this either. This is the difference between the two pairs. So EURUSD, the trade, it was perfect, and this one had a false entry, and then it hit stop loss. But depending on what your SL is, I usually just have one pip above. So if I was to get into this trade, I would have definitely hit stop loss. But if you have got a bigger one, then you would have still been in the trade. 
but yeah. Price tagged us in and then stop loss. So there was a trade there. And that's where my trading hours comes in pretty handy for this specific, specific trade. It would have still been a valid trade to take because it's in the HP area. Just EURUSD, it play, played out. GPUSD, it didn't. So this is, again, we're going to take trades and they're going to hit stop loss or it's just the way it goes. So, but it was out of my trading hours. So that's why I didn't take that one. And that's why I didn't take EURUSD. So if I did take both trades, I would have had a win and I would have had one loss. So it would have just been break even. So, but still going forward, I'm like I said in the EURUSD weekly review, I'm probably still going to take the trades if they're out my session hours and they're HP trades to take because they're worth taking. It's worth taking the risk. So that was then price then pushed down and then it was just nothing. It was not looking to get into anything after that. Um. So that was the only sort of opportunity to take on GPUSD, whether you took it or not. And if you did, depends how big your stop loss would have been. Um, but going into next week, like I said, on the four, four hour, I'm looking for price to either come out of this, break out of this range, and push it up or push it down, and then we can go from there. So GBP, GBPUSD was not as interesting. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Um, Remember to like and subscribe. Stay up to date with all my latest videos. I will be doing weekly reviews every week on GBP and U GBP USD and Euro USD. If you want to um, join my free community, get involved with what I'm doing, then please click the link in the description of this video and get involved. So thanks for watching that video, guys, and I will see you in the next one.